All right, folks, you already know the deal. It's that time of the year again. We got the new Pokemon Presents that just came out. They showed off a lot of things. Most of it I didn't care about. However, they did show off some new Mons that uh, definitely piqued my interest because uh, we got some details about them. And I felt like, you know, why don't I make a little video to talk about it? Because I just felt like it. I thought it'd be fun. And I'm also joined by a special guest here. You know him, you love him. The man himself. It's the Don. How should I? <laughs> He's the Don. Yeah, that direct was so boring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, the ending was cool. Seeing new Mons was cool was for true. competitive Andes like us. Exactly. But I was I was snoozing the entire time. <laughs> oh boy, more Pokemon Cafe remix news. I've been waiting on that. I can't wait to make Jigglypuff cupcakes. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna talk about the new guys. Uh, mostly how they how they are pertain to competitive because you know that's kind of our thing around here uh so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy leave a like and all that shit uh and why don't we let's let's, let's start off at the the shallow end let's talk about new guy diplin uh who's not he's not that crazy nothing but uh he's always he's got he's got some stuff so he's another another uh applin evo because we didn't have enough already i guess he's also grass dragon uh he's got gluttony and a new ability Super sweet syrup, which uh, if we go over here, lowers the evasion of the opposing Pokemon when he's sent out. So it's kind of like intimidate, but uh, for evasion, which is interesting, because uh, it could it could be useful for some situations. Like uh, you know, you go for a Draco and you don't have to worry about it missing because they have the dropped evasion. So that's useful. And it could also I've heard people talking about oh this could be a good ability for doubles. Uh, which I could definitely see to help out with like uh, rock slide or like moves like that that aren't like 100% accurate because uh, it does affect b both Mons on the other side of the field in doubles, so that'd be cool. And, yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely thought this was a doubles Mon. Yeah. The time I like looking at the evasion, I think its new move is also something along those lines, right? Where it just kind of helps out the homies. That's true. He definitely seems like a supportive guy. I think that's where they're going with this because we already got like yeah. the offensive one with Flapple and like the defense with uh, Appleton. So now I think this guy's just like pure like support and like disruption type of deal. Uh, and he's gonna be so bad in singles. <laughs> oh boy! As, hey, you know we don't we, we don't know the stats yet. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe they... I wanted him to be Dragon Fairy. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think be... that was too well, crazy. With the with the magic of Terra, Matt, anything's possible. So. <laughs> anything's possible because uh i figured though right because like the dragon part's the worm and then most like a lot of candied mons are mm. fairy you got like uh slurpuff you got alcrimi so i was like oh this could be it but nah they're cowards grass dragon whatever <laughs> they are cowards whatever and, you know we'll see i kind of hope this he doesn't look like uh he'd be but i kind of hope he's like really fast just like like just like 110 115 something crazy just like Cause I feel like that would that's like high, good high speeds always good for like a supportive mon I think uh, and I, I mean was if he doesn't that he'd also have like a like a stink like a like a diet scream tail type of <laughs> yeah because like it's, exactly. it's limited to having it, it's BSDS before eighty five because that's what Appleton and Flapples is mm. uh, but I also noticed that it's literally stuck to the ground if you look at a picture of it yeah <laughs> like uh oh he's not they look at too good for him it's not and may, maybe the hidden ability is like prankster or something maybe but probably not there's probably copium but uh, anywho Ooh, that'd be uh, nice. It says his signature move is called Syrup Bomb. It's just a grass grass type attack, and it says lowers the speed stat continuously for three turns. So uh, I think this actually this could be this sounds interesting. Uh, I know we said it's a doubles guy, and I agree, but I think this actually sounds better in singles. Like if you use this on like a mon that's like trying to set up, uh, like going for D dances or something, you just like keep dropping their speed, so you like you kind of stop their their sweep for a little bit. I think that's. Uh, definitely something interesting that could have potential um yeah i, I don't got too high hopes i don't yeah i mean it'll be something i guess we got to see what the stats are but uh yeah i mean it's probably not gonna be that crazy uh i mean hey with terra you know can mix up the types so who knows i mean you know the boy appleton he's pretty good with terra so uh we'll see My we'll see goat. but he's My the goat. definitely nothing nothing crazy i, mean, I guess you know Design's cute. He's a little candy apple. That's neat. That's you know, it makes I don't sense. Know. I'm still I'm still ride or die for Appleton. I'll go to war That's for fair. That guy. 
That's very fair. But uh, any who moving on now now we're talking about some real pokemon right here let's talk about the boy archaladon crazy <laughs> crazy guy so the the duraladon evolution that none of us were expecting but i think we all kind of secretly wanted because let's be real duraladon is pretty bad <laughs> he's pretty i hate that guy he's, bro he's unfinished he, he, totally he is unfinished evolution. i didn't think about that i thought he was scrapped i just thought like all right they made this this unfinished guy and he will never reach his full potential but now they saw the light. They did. So, they did. Uh, he's still Steel Dragon. He's got uh, abilities are sturdy and stamina, which I think stamina is crazy for this dude. Super lit. Yeah, I was waiting for somebody to get stamina that wasn't uh, just Mudsdale. I mean, Mudsdale. Shout out is he the only one? He's that guy, but like, yeah, he's the only one. There's probably like a Catmon that has uh, it. There is. Yeah, Venomicon. Venomicon has it. <laughs> That's epic. He's not even real. Not even real. But, uh, but I think he's definitely going to be good with stamina because Duraldon already gets body press, so you give it to to this guy, and like he could he could definitely get scary. Um. So I was I was doing my research. Oh. Right? I was trying to figure out what's this what's this Mon Doral, what's Arch Aladon gonna look like? Mm -hmm. Because he's kinda like, you know, very King Gambit esque in a sense that we thought Bishart yeah. was just fine the way he is, and then he got goofed. Yeah, that's so I was the looking into it, right? And uh I think for base stat total, it's not gonna get too much numbers. Uh because typically, unless they are a like King Gambit's BST is like five fifty, right? Yeah. And typically for like a lot of um to go past 550, it's very rare for a Pokemon. I think one of the few that does it is Florges with 552. <laughs> That's interesting. So I think it's just going to get like maybe 30 or, or 20 added to its BST and they're going to move some stuff around. And uh, I think he's going to be slow. I, I think he looks very slow. Initially, I thought maybe like, oh, his design's kind of like like he's got more like uh like sharper edges and mm -hmm. like kind of looks angular maybe could be fast now i'm looking back at this guy the official artwork he just looks staunch he's like i'm not moving <laughs> he's just a bridge <laughs> yeah so i'm feeling that clean like all right like 60 speed they love 60 speed every time they a, a mon gets speed nerfed they're going to 60 bro <laughs> braviary his dewey wordier uh Friggin' Skeledurge, who wasn't really a nerf but still so i feel like he's gonna get 60 speed and then everything else gonna be cranked maybe attack it's going to be lowered or something, because that would be beneficial to it, because, like, who runs physical attacking Duraladon with that 120 special attack? But, uh, yeah, he's going to be a beast. He's going to be great. I, I'm really curious what the what his BST is going to be, how much they're going to increase it. I almost hope they just, ma just make him, like, a like a knockoff pseudo, just give him, like, 600, just fuck it. So I, I literally, the other day, I went on Nat Dex, and I, like, scroll I sorted by BST and scrolled through, and uh, the only mons that get close to BST are, like, legendaries. Or mm -hmm. 600 BST, excuse me. Yeah. Are legendaries. Like, I'm trying to find who the highest, like, regular Joe Schmo is. <laughs> if it's um, Florges, that's crazy. I think, yeah, Florges is crazy. I think Arcanine's also 550. Uh, Volcarona's, like, 550. King Gambit, 550. Ursa Luna, 550. That, mm -hmm. that seems to be their cat. Goldengo. Uh, yeah, Arcanine's 555. <laughs> what makes him so special? Archaeops is 567. That's the only crazy one. So Volley's kind of a legendary. Oh, yeah, well, so... well, well don't forget, like, Slacking and, and Palafin, those guys, those, like, fake legendaries. Oh, uh, yeah, but they're, they're, like, not real. They're fake Mon. They're not even in the game. <laughs> that is true. Uh, so, yeah, Duraldon's got... Not real. He's got 535, which is already pretty high. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how much... They'll, they're willing to increase it. Stacking stick seventy. <laughs> Crazy, absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. But I almost thought I had the idea. Maybe, maybe they don't even like buff the stats. Maybe they just do like a scissor to a like scissor. Scyther the scissor type thing and just like keep the same BST, just like move it around, which I think could I was, be possible. I was thinking that, but they haven't really done that in a while. But um, that would be that would be surprising and cool. I think I think I would also prefer him to just have like five eighty and they just break the mold that way, <laughs> but. If, they, if we're following the trends, I did the I did the calcs, bro. It's looking like a, they'll just like tack thirty on and move some things around. Because typically for every evolution, they've moved some stats around. Like even like ones that seem like they improve in every way. Annihilate's a little bit slower than Primeape, I think. Yeah, by five points. So they're always shuffling stuff. Even King Gambit loses some speed. Yeah. They just love making Mon slower. Yeah, though. he's definitely no way he's faster than sixty or sixty-five. Yeah, no way. Actually, impossible. My only concern is he's gonna he's gonna replace 
Gudra Hisui. Gudra, he's definitely. Like you brought that up. To I, me. I did. I because I, I looked at. It, I was like, wait a second. This guy's also Dragon Steel. He's just gonna. He's gonna be slow, bulky guy. I can smell. He's just gonna be. He's gonna be better Gudra. I can already tell. Actually, they love. They love actually, screwing over this problem. Mon, because like Gudra was was the worst pseudo forever, and then they finally made him good, and now now they're just gonna make a better version of him. <laughs> as so disrespectful. Yeah. I can't. And believe they, it. they already did that too. Like they made word here, uh, in. In Legends Arceus, yep. who kind of asks again why they make this boy slow? You literally run around him fast, <laughs> and then they That's made Origiraf, who's debatably an upgrade. It's kind of the same mon, really. Like got, I think have... he is better though, not by a wide margin, Ordeer's? but still, no. Uh, Origiraf. Oh, uh, I think they're in the same tier, but that could also just be due to the fact that like Legends Arceus mons are still kind of like shuffling around. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's by that much, but like still, I think. I think for a graph is more going on like i've seen like some setup shenanigans you can do with them it's like okay well that's, there's something about it. i still don't know what you run on on weird deer that monster just there's, there's been a lot of like jacking of stats actually like i looked at uh i remember in one draft league battle i, I noticed this where like iron hands and ursa luna kind of have the same exact spread just with, like uh, slightly yeah. different numbers like if you were to put their numbers side by side it's like these look the same uh, it's pretty funny to me. All right, yeah. I mean, I guess once so, you once you make so many mons, there's only like so many possible yeah. spreads you can so make. to predict new Pokemon stats, we can just look at Legends Arceus ones and see <laughs> what they want to double up on. <laughs> I guess you got a point. <clears throat> Honestly, they What's could. Really cool about? Uh, oh, sorry, what were you saying? They could. I could see. <laughs> now you bring that up, they could just give him Gudra stats or something close to it. Just give him like a ton of special defense because he already has stamina to boost his physical defense. So they could they could do something like that. Uh, which would be you never know. That'd be really messed up, honestly. And he's got that new move. A new like move. Electro shot. Moves create electro. Yes. Yeah, so this moves crazy. This moves actually actually cranked. So it's basically a electric type meteor beam. If you guys know meteor beam, it's the strong rock move. But you got to charge it up. But it gives you a special attack boost for free. So that's I've always thought meteor beam was a sick move. But now they're just making an electric type version of it, which is sick. But not even that, because there's there's still more because. Uh, if you use it in the rain, you don't have to charge up at all. You can just, you can just spam it, which is absurd. Uh, so we, I can, I'm telling you right now, we're definitely gonna see this guy on rain, hundred percent, hundred billion percent, no doubt about it. Uh, and yeah, he's gonna. I mean, he's got he's got that move to raise his special attack. He's got stamina to raise his defense. I don't know, bro. Wow, this guy, this guy might be might be kind of crazy. I don't know. It's so funny that like. Yep, rain and sun are getting buffs <laughs> constantly. <laughs> and then they haven't touched sand in like eight years. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I mean, I like it. I like when interesting like builds, like things such as sand or terrain or whatnot, get buffs because mm -hmm. I think they make the competitive aspect of things more interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm about that. I'm about that. especially in draft league. You True. know, in draft, I think water stocks, rain stocks are down a little bit. But uh, on ladder, you know, big Pelipper, he's in OU, so he chilling, he chilling. He is indeed. So, uh, I was thinking just for like what he would run on uh, Archaladon. I, I kind of thought came to mind the idea of a Soul Vest could be uh, could be really good because you got the stamina to raise your defenses, and then you just run like dual stab with like uh, Dragon Pulse and Flash Cannon, and then you got the freaking the electro shot uh thingy joint and then you can just have like body press as your last for like coverage and also because like just take die. take advantage of your defense boost exactly and then you're just bulky as hell uh yeah this this dude's gonna be gonna be something i'm, be I'm very interested also uh now it means you can run evil like duraludon so that's something uh finally for once in his life he can probably take special hits uh at least semi-decently uh so good for him could use that. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's not going to be dog shit, bro. He's going to be uh, he's going to be press. somewhat viable. Bi press Stealth for Rock, sure. Eviolite, Draco. He still doesn't get Sumo. that much coverage, but I think the, the added bulk is going to help him out a lot. Uh, yeah, this mod, you're right when you said this mod's very unfinished. He need, he needed something something more for sure. He is. They introduced this man saying like, yeah, this is Tyranitar's rival. I'm like, yeah, okay. This is so oh, cap. This is so yeah, cap. You know, you this, honestly, here's my read. I think they regret Duraludon. They wanted him to be cool, and then they 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 like they said this is gonna be like Mecha Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Then next gen, they literally make Mecha Godzilla <laughs> in the form of Iron Thorns and evolve Art Duraludon. 
They definitely like, damn, we missed. And they got Excalibur. Excalibur is the real Titar rival. You can't, you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> you keep making Godzillas, bro. <laughs> they just really like him. Damn. They do. They love their kaijus over there, man. But uh, this guy's gonna be super, super shy. Even if he is slow, I don't think it. I don't think it matters because like the typing's sick, and he's he's definitely gonna be super bulky. So I don't think the low speed even matters that much. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he's gonna be I can't super wait for sick. Him to have less special defense. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> God, I hope not. So uh, that is uh, those two. However, we still there's still some more. Uh, more new guys they mentioned. If I can pull up the thing, where they freaking announced this? <gasps> Shit! You got Raikou Giraffe, and you got a other Raikou. guy. That's that's exactly right. Yeah, let me see if I can pull up. Raikou Giraffe. Look, I I thought it was goofy. I, I still don't know how I feel about it. The more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. But he's yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the neck. It is. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of neck. That's a lot of neck, bro. <laughs> Crazy. I would say too much neck. Hmm. They just like long mons. Ever since Alolan Executor, they're like, we gotta have one. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, yeah, they we had, gotta, they had Gigantamax yeah, Meowth. There was no G-Max Meowth, there was no Alolan Executor, and they're like, ah, oh, you thought, bro. We need something. The three of them like to hang out. <laughs> they like to go to, to, uh, speakeasies on the weekend. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But yes, we got a Raging Bolt and Iron Crown, so, uh, you know what? I think it's safe to assume one looks at these. It's like, okay, we already got Walking Wake, we already got Iron Leaves, so they're probably they're probably gonna make uh, Paradox versions of Entei and Terrakion next, right? That's that's like the obvious the obvious read. Yeah, uh, I thought it was interesting because I feel like once Iron Leaves and Walking Wake came out, I think a lot of people, or maybe it was just me, assumed that those were the only ones out of the trios that were getting new forms. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was, it was possible, but I was like, it, yeah, it didn't like seem out of the out of the possibility that. It was just going to be those guys, but it uh, looks like they're doing doing all of them, so that's sick. Yeah. I feel like now it's like, okay, well, they have to do all of them, because you're not just yeah. going to do two. <laughs> yeah, two exactly. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, we're doing... I, I, do think, I do think they're all going to follow the same typing scheme as adding Dragon and adding Psychic, which which sucks which for su the Swords of Justice. Yeah. <laughs> that, that does really uh, screw them over a bit. I mean... The, the dragon typing on the other guys, though, is crazy. Electric dragon. Oh, no, they're great. Yeah. Crazy. Super uh, hype. I mean, I, I don't... I look at the new guys, and I don't... It's hard to get a read on, like, what Cobalion's secondary typing could be. If that's true. Psychic. I mean, I've heard people uh, saying, like, he could be, like, steel electric, because he, he doesn't really give steel. psychic vibes, because, like, the... You know, Iron Leaves at least have, like, kind of, like, the pink lights or whatever, and, like, Cobalion doesn't really have yeah. that, so I guess there's a chance they don't go Psychic, which would probably be better, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I've been doing, again, with my extensive research, the dumb, yes. I, I, I consulted the Oracle, <laughs> and there's two timelines. It's either they have fun, or they don't. So I was looking at Iron Leaves, <laughs> and its stat spread is very similar to Verizion in terms of what numbers are being used. Uh, granted, it's BST's 590, Verizion's is 580, so it adds 10. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, like, like what's what's Iron Leaves' biggest stat? 130 in attack. What's Verizion's? 129. Mm -hmm. What's Iron Leaves' second biggest? 108. What's Verizion? 108. So I feel like in the boring timeline, they're just going to use the same exact numbers that Iron Leaves has and then mm -hmm. switch them up for Cobalion and Terrakion. Did they do that uh, with the other guys? Oh, yeah, what's the... Up? Yeah, the regular Swords of Justice uh, have the same same numbers, just swapped, and then realized that. So yeah, they yeah. they could just do that for the iron is, iron uh, bonds. I think all the all the um uh every most trios have that type of dynamic to mm -hmm. a certain extent. I know that the legendary beasts also have that. They have two one fifteens, one one hundred, one ninety, and etc. Yeah. But what I want to have to happen is they just throw that out. You know, I, what I want is like I want uh, Iron Crown to be like Steel Electric. And yeah. Then have like a billion speed and a billion special attack. <laughs> to me, that mod looks like a special attacker that's fast. He's got little wings on his side. Yeah, give him like 110 speed, speed, 130 special attack. Something like that. Like, yeah. Actually, I think he'll, he'd be more speed. You I think? think he'll be too fast. In, in my opinion, he just looks that way. He does look pretty pretty graceful. I'll give it to He's you. Like, but, you know, mm -hmm. we already yeah. know there's a lot of a lot of fast mods, like you mentioned, Weird Deer, that look like they'd be fast, but then they just... Game Freak decides <laughs> no. Uh, so we'll yeah, see what happens what with I, that. What I think's gonna happen is Iron Crown's gonna be like Steel Psychic with like maybe 130 in speed 
and then like 108 in special attack with 104 in attack and like 88 in defense you know like just scrambling iron leaves around yeah uh i mean it could be it could be good i think it's the only mon too that like if it was steel psychic that's not bad might be better than steel fighting debatably um yeah i mean it's definitely not the worst type it's like the type steel combo fighting's better offensively but steel psychic's kind of better defensively mm -hmm. um i mean fighting that, that moves on Fighting Psychic isn't like the worst thing ever. I mean, like Galate's pretty decent, but like uh, I do, I think Psychic Steel would be would be cooler if they were gonna give it the Psychic typing. Uh, yeah, I, I could see them making him a special attacker for sure. Considering like, I mean, I guess Verizion was like kind of kind of mixed and like not not much of an attacker to begin with, but they did make it physical with Iron Leaf, so I could see him going special yeah. for Iron Crown for sure. Yeah. Iron Leaves, I feel like it's more built. It's got such, like, sharp edges and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like, I can see it kind of hitting, but, like, uh, Iron Crown just looks more sleek. And, like, he doesn't look like he's built for physical contact. But uh, yeah. if they do go for the Psychic route, Big Terrakion's looking oh boy. very sad. <laughs> see, though, it's not looking good for the boy. We'll be honest, Rock folks. Psychic. <laughs> Rock Psychic. Maybe, maybe they have the good, the good ending. Actually, they probably are just going to get rid of the fighting typing and get, replace it with Psychic, right? Because that's what they did with Rizion. I mean, if they did give it fighting Psychic, I wouldn't be that upset with it. But, like, Rock Psychic would be... Ooh, that'd be... Stinky. That would be very stinky. <laughs> and my my other read, I already told this to Sean, mm -hmm. is I think Terrakion's going to be bulky. Because it seems like they're kind of switching up the, the archetypes, like the yes, roles yes. that each mod plays. Like, Rizion was a special tank, which it's still... You know, still especially tanky, but now it's more of a hard hitter. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I think Cobalion might be like not physically defensive, like he even looks like frailer, but more of a special attacker. Mm -hmm. And Terrakion, I think, might just be like an all around bulky guy. Because I feel like yeah. it's really easy to redesign him as a bulky guy. He's already yeah. so fat. He's, yeah, know, he's, he's very stout and built, you know? Yeah. So just, and like then, like, like, with, like the, with the with the iron, the iron theme, you just make him look like a tank, and he just like, he just sits and eats hits. I could definitely do yeah. something like that. Whoa. Big, uh, big, big, uh, rock psychic oh, tanky guy. And you's gonna love him. <laughs> Can't wait for bootleg oh, hip on. It'll be epic. It's gonna be so bad. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm... You never know. They could... Yeah. They could They could give him some crazy move. Like That's true. <laughs> they could give him iron jugulose beam and give him plus two in every stat. <laughs> and, uh, has priority. 120 million damage, you know? You never know what to get with this gen. Yeah, that would be... I would enjoy that. But uh, I'm almost I'm I'm almost okay with him with uh, the new track not being good just because he was already the best of the three and like I'm yeah. happy that the other two were, like getting some something extra although I would I do love track and I would love to see if they just made like another version of him that was super epic but uh, I guess we'll see but, uh, yeah I'm okay if he's back because we can just make fun of him you know it's more jokes <laughs> that's true and then there's big Raikou. big raging bolt so. Uh, again, like they how they added dragon to walking right. The obvious uh, prediction is they're gonna give this guy electric dragon, which uh, is obviously a fantastic type. Um, but here's my thing, because they the like you said they're switching the types around a lot or the stats rather, excuse me. So I was thinking, what if they make this guy a physical attacker instead of special like no. Raikou normally is? I don't know what he could be. That's that's my thing. I I was looking at him for a while, and I think Game Freak for the most part does a pretty good job of like with their designs. It's indicative of what their stats look like. Mm -hmm. For example, I, I think physical attackers for the most part look like they will hit you physically. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes it gets weird with defense. Like Machamp, for example, is a special defensive guy, or more so I think. Right? Oh yeah. no, he's the same defense as really. Or Hitmonchan. Like nothing yeah. about that mon really looks like it can eat a special hit, but he can. Yep. Uh, but for the most part, right? So I look at Raikou. I think the what's his name, Raging Bolt. I don't think he looks fast. I think no, he'll be the slow one. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be like 70, um, 80 speed. I think something like that. If, if it's following the trend of taking the stats and uh, moving them around, mm -hmm. I think he'll have eighty three speed because that's Walking Wake's lowest stat. Mm, that sounds about right. Um, because because also if you if you look at what I what I did was I looked at other Bronchiosaurus or like those <laughs> long neck dinosaurs. Giraffe. I looked at other ones. Uh, or the giraffes too, like Aurorus, Dialga, and they all have like pretty similar uh, spreads. You really? know, they're all slow, pretty mm -hmm. bulky with like higher special attack. Uh, Tropius is kind of an outlier, but Tropius is also kind of unfinished. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor but one I do out. think he's potential to be physical. I mean, a, a electric physical is sounds gross, but like he'll probably get like 
epic neck beam or something. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to get a signature like move. Hydro Steam is. Yeah, because yeah. they got Hydro Steam on Walking Wake, so probably, and it's probably going to be electric if it was, they gave uh, Walking Wake the water move, so they could definitely give him like a, like a decent physical electric move, and I wouldn't be that upset by that, honestly. Um, I think he would be more better special, though, because, like, yeah. being limited to outrage, I don't think he's going to get Dragon Claw. Maybe. Maybe. He looks so, uh, you can hope. Looks so immobile. I mean, or, uh, the Alga gets it, and that's true. Uh, the Raladon gets it, and they don't. <laughs> they don't really have claws. <laughs> yes, or we can rock out with that uh, blunder policy, Dragon Rush, and just. There's Tom, baby. That is a rush. Something. That is a complete rush. I mean, but getting EQ with like electric physical stab. True. Could be kind of clean. Big. I do feel big. like he'll be tanky. Maybe I mean, like worst a, case scenario, if he doesn't get Dragon Claw, we just run Terra Blast Dragon and just <laughs> rock out. Oh for, sure. oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm feeling like 83 speed. Yeah, maybe he gets a 125 in attack. I feel like he won't get 125 in special attack. Uh, because Walking Wake see... already kind of does that. Yeah, they could give like I could see like 109 HP because I feel like he, he would be kind of kind of thick, you know, something like that. Yeah, he could he could be kind of lit. Yeah, if they put the two small stats, the 83s, into like special attack and speed, like this is mm -hmm. the Mon that knows what it wants. Yeah, so it's uh... like. Yeah, like kind of crazy. 125 attack, 109 HP, and like 99 defense, 91 spadef. Like that's a that's a solid stat spread, for sure. Yeah, that's pretty lit. That's pretty lit. Yeah. Might be more especially bulky, just because walking Maybe. Wake is more physical for some reason. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> not by much though. See, that's mod I would think is more especially defensive because I feel like that main you can hit up energy blast, but not like <laughs> punches. I don't know. This is where we get into the weird like yeah, nuance, the speculative the way they look. We'll have to see, but. uh yeah, I don't. I mean, Electric Dragon. I feel like is always a good type, but uh, we'll have to see. If he is slow, that's not like the greatest thing ever. It's not the worst, but like um, I do think it's funny <clears throat> if they if they make him Electric Dragon. We already got another one in this gen because we already got Maridon, who's like the best mon ever. Uh, and then we'll get this guy, who's uh, I think he'll, I think he'll be good. He's he kind of feel he's giving off like. Uh, Mega Ampharos vibes, like better Mega Ampharos, except he's physical. That's, that's what I'm reading. That's what I was saying. Yeah, when I first saw him, I was like, he totally be like a Mega Ampharos, like very slower. But uh, yeah, it's. I think the big coin flip with him is um, physical or special. He's also the reason why I'm very inclined to believe that Cobalion is going to be Steel Psychic, and they're going to follow that trend. Mm -hmm. Because um, if it was just the Swords of Justice, I'd be like, okay, maybe they are like all different types, which would be yeah. cooler. I think we all want that. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, again, like looking at the past, I'll tell you, I've done my research, like they give mm -hmm. the dragon typing to a lot of dinosaurs that are just true. Beasts, like Tyrantrum, uh, Dracozolt, you know, the the, the, the T-Rex part of him mm -hmm. is dragon, same with Dracovish. So I'm inclined to believe that uh, Raging Bolt's going to be Electric Dragon, like 98%. The other thing I can see it being is maybe Electric Ground. Ooh. But you're already biting off Sandy Shocks' flow at that point. That's true. Like, they really or, do that? or Electric Water, maybe. You know, that he kind of looks like he has a cloud around him. Hmm, maybe. Rain. Hmm. I was like, what the? Where'd you get water from? <laughs> <laughs> no, this boy is not taking a dip anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, man, I'm just throwing throwing it out there. I do think Electric Dragon's probably Ooh. the most likely. But no, uh, what if it was Electric Flying, <laughs> and they they more so takes on the, the the role of flying from like the air? Ooh, it's an idea. Uh, I don't want that. Though. We have enough watch flying. We're good. We got Killer Watch. We That's got true. That those got the got the genies. True, true, true. But uh, yeah, the these guys definitely look like they could have some potential. Uh, but of course, that also uh, with these guys being announced, that uh, begs the the question of like you know. The other guys, the Tarak and Entei, because we already we, we already mentioned Tarak, but uh, as for what they could do with Entei's, uh, well, I mean, if they're going to give him Dragon type too, that I mean that Fire Dragon's like an amazing type. I think it's probably one of the best types offensively. I'd say, uh, so that would be sick. I don't really know what they would do they for him. Like wait for Pterodactyl Entei. <laughs> they make <laughs> that'd be crazy. <laughs> what if they make him? Yeah, what I if he's like a Stegosaurus, bro? <laughs> So if you look at those images that um that when the when the what's it called the the new iron leaves and iron um excuse me iron leaves and walking wake when they first leaked you know how mm -hmm. in the book they have the images of all the paradox forms combined oh yeah, yeah um it doesn't give that much like I think this the Suicune one just kind of has like Entei's tusks mm. So I think that's the only thing we can guarantee that's going to be on this new Mon. And I think the 
some like spikes in the back or whatever but it is curious to think like what dinosaur is he gonna be because it looks like they're, they're yeah. taking on that thing i think triceratops Trice i was gonna say R3. triceratops or stegosaurus i think could be could be a possibility oh stegosaurus is freaking brilliant wait no you're a genius <laughs> that could be oh, oh. you're a genius because he definitely got stegosaurus spikes on his freaking back yeah yeah I was thinking Triceratops because this I think he has like a lot of like three prong things on his face. Yeah. He's got the two red accents coming uh from the left and right of his eyes and that like yellow crown. Mm -hmm. I feel like they can like make that in the horns, but uh, I just want Entei to look sick because he's like one of my yeah, favorite mods. They better... uh, he's not that great, you know, in yeah. competitive. Shout out no earthquake. It's but, no uh, earthquake still. He looked red. Yeah, they better better I feel do like him justice. He's gonna be insane though. Maybe, I just don't maybe know. Maybe like Iron Leaf, where they make him the, like the best one, you know? Because yeah. Fire Dragon, and if he has EQ, Ooh. and a Fire know. Dragon with Protosynthesis, oh, juicy! That's gonna be. Crazy. I feel like they're gonna make him a special attacker. You think? But they already got Walking Awake, though. That's the only thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're, you're gonna have to double up on one, right, to hit from one side. I think yeah. maybe he'll be like the bulky. Oh no, Raikou's the bulky guy. Mm, um, true. And then so you think they just keep him be... physical then? And just like, still has all his old shit like Sacred Fire, E-Speed, just like, he's just better Entei, but he has Dragon type hey, now? I don't know, would you, rather would you rather have him physical or special? I feel like you're, you're selling me on physical now if he keeps E-Speed. If, well, he, if he keeps E-Speed, uh, I don't know, I mean... Does not, does not. That's true, so maybe he doesn't, but uh... I, I would assume not then. Because isn't that a vent move anyway? It is. Uh... Maybe he could still get Sacred Fire. I don't know. Um, but uh, it is funny that he kept Sacred Fire, but no one got Arrow Blast. <laughs> That's true. But uh, bro, Mama and Papa Ho -Oh and Lugia did not raise their kids all the same. Let me tell you, <laughs> they did not, bro. Exactly, it's just Ho Ohs. They're, they're up. That's true. The Lugia is like the, the stepmom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she got weekends. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if Walking Wake is already special, then I feel like it would make sense to keep Ente physical, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, either way, I think, like, either way they go. Fire Dragon's sick. Either we get, like, a new Reshiram or a new Zard X, so, like, I'm down, regardless. Uh, Yo, can you imagine 125 Ente with the Dragon typing? <laughs> like, 125 in his attack? That'd be I juicy. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'd be down for and that. And EQ? I don't EQ. Know. If they, they better give him EQ. If, 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 a, if a primal past form of Entei cannot use EQ, um, they're going to hear from me, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, back then the earth was quaking like every other day. I this feel like up. I do want him to be physical, actually, because I feel like if he's not, if he's going to be special, hear me out. I think he's just going to be another like scarf eruption terrifier guy. That's true. Well, I mean, that, that wouldn't That's be that bad either. It's, it'd be good, but it's like we already have enough. You it's know, true. Like, you're just it's pretty hey, typical. we got another budget to you. We'll throw him in the back. Like <laughs> budget to you. It'll be better than Typhlosion one and Typhlosion two. I'll tell you that but... <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Oh my God! With Protosynthesis in Sun, Proto no, he would definitely be that one thousand percent. Terrifier. Terrify. Yeah, he'd be he'd be Chiu too. So I want him to be physical, <laughs> which is still like very oppressive. But I'd rather him be better like Arcanine H than yeah to you yeah i agree yeah i think i think regardless Entei's gonna be crazy with fire plus protosynthesis that's gonna be oh, super, yeah. elite. super elite oh but uh i think that I to give him 99 speed and i was just like well don't want to play with this mod anymore hey man just give him give make him adamant banded it'd be a nice wall breaker yes sir but uh, I think that pretty much covers it because they didn't they didn't show off that many mods. But uh, there's definitely definitely a lot to to consider, which I think is you know always gets always my my, my autistic brain tingling with the possibilities. Mm. Mm, yes, yes, I love being in Spurgatory. Mm. <laughs> also, not even to mention like all the all the new mods that are coming back. Well, not not excuse me, old mods that are going to be coming back uh, with the DLC uh, whenever that comes out. I'm surprised they still haven't really announced a date. Uh, which is interesting, but whenever it comes out, oh, did they? September thirteenth, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just an idiot. Um, but yeah, getting getting to use all the new mods from DLC is always fun. Uh, I really enjoyed that part of Sword and Shield. Uh, so yeah, gonna be gonna be fun to.
play with those guys and play with the, these new guys that come out. Very interested. Also, the other like legendary guys that are part of the DLC. We'll see how they work. But uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. So, do you have any closing thoughts, Mister Don? Uh, I got nothing. No thoughts. Shout out Diplin. That's it. Shout out Diplin. That's my boy Driplin. <laughs> Shout out. That's my boy Driplin. <laughs> but yeah, he's great. Uh, so guess that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Also, peep Matt. Always, don't forget, never forget, or I'll find out. All right, take it easy. Yeah, you will. Take it easy.